All right, guys, maybe it's on my short where I like tossed out the foam roller. I actually do use the foam roller for my warm up, and uh, I'll actually sometimes hold like one of the heavy sandbags on my chest as I'm rolling this on my back when I warm up for, for squats. So I do use it a little bit. Um, and I will use the massage gun as well for warm up, like small areas when I want to dig in a little bit more. But honest to God, what I use the most to loosen up, even before I start my actual warm up, is I actually use a Ryobi car buffer with a lithium battery. It's really good. You can really put a lot of pressure on it and uh, really dig in. Like right now, get those VMOs loosened up. The hip flexors really loosened up around the hips, all around there. Just going around, working it. Get the QLs and the erectors. And this nice long handle, really good for getting the rhomboids, under, getting in underneath your scap. It's just awesome. Both sides. You can get your shoulders a little bit, rear delts. It's awesome. They can really reach really well too. Yeah, get yourself a car buffer. It works really, really well. All right. Okay, so the next portion we're gonna get into. After I do that, roll out, warm up, okay? Usually what I'm gonna go into the next is I'm gonna go into plyo box one-legged squats, or I'm actually gonna go into either side steps with a hip circle. So when you're first starting, you can start out with a little bit of easier resistance, or you can use tubing around your legs, or you can, when you get more advanced, have a little more strength. When you're doing your squats, either doing like almost like goblet squat with these around your knees, or if you're doing sidestep um, band walking, which I'll show you here in a second, they work really, really well. So I'm gonna move this aside. As you guys see, you're gonna put this right around your knees or your ankles, and you're just gonna go on the side, step them like that. If you want a little bit harder, slide it down a little further right here, going back and forth. I usually do, I go down about 20 then 20 back, just like so. You can also just do regular squats if you're almost like doing a goblet squat. You don't have to hold, hold a, you know, a, you know, anything up here like kettlebell or something like that, but you can just go ahead and do that. You're pushing out, using the stabilize, pushing out here. Just like that, you engage your medial glutes and your glutes going down, coming right back up. Next step after that, I've been doing these for years. I've done these even longer than, you know, before I did powerlifting. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do single leg squats. Okay, way to do that. You're going to get one foot up just like so. Okay. Now, it's important eventually to warm up. You don't have to start out this high. You could start out at 20, just like so. But eventually you want to get as far as you can without compensating through your hips. What I mean by that is you're not doing a um, anterior um, posterior pelvic tilt. So you're not dumping forward like that. Okay. You don't want that. Okay. So right here to start, we'll start low. Okay. You would do both sides for about 10 to 12 repetitions. Okay, just shortening it up a little bit for time. Then I'm gonna increase it a little bit. So you'll notice now my hip crease is way underneath my knee, which is nice when you're warming up before you're gonna do like a barbell squat. Right here, controlled on the way down. Make sure you don't have a bunch of valgus, your knee caving in. Okay, that's a nice thing about when you record it on a phone, you can slow it down, see what's really going on at your knee, really try to control it. In one of the past videos I did, it was interesting, a lot of guys, well not a lot, a few people mentioned they thought it was maybe sketchy doing the step ups with 
uh, yoke bar on your back. Here's the deal, I've been doing these for years. I have no problems balancing guys. So maybe that's one edge I have because I do this warm up and I do this exercise all the time. So this is the warm up I use specifically for squats, okay? So I'm gonna foam roll, roll out, or use the um, car buffer and the uh, massage gun a little bit. And then I'm gonna go to like the hip circle, do some squatting, do some side steps, get my glutes engaged, and then I'm gonna get my knee and my hips, my ankle, all fully warmed up by doing single leg plyo box squats, okay? With no weight, okay? By the time I get to squatting, and I'd also add in the YTWs that I showed you guys on like the, the bench video, okay? I do that for this as well. By the time I get to that, I'm all ready to go, okay? I don't do anything on the treadmill or anything else. I'm just simply massage this stuff a little bit, maybe roll out a little bit, hip circle, single leg squat on the plyo box, YTWs, I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to get squatting heavy within, you know, a couple sets of, of warming up. So that's what I do. I, I cut that out of the, the squat video. I apologize for that, but here you go, guys. It's right here. So do this stuff. It's a great warm up, and uh, it's probably worth, if you don't want to get a, a car buffer with a lithium battery, you can always get one with, uh, and do it with an extension cord, but I can tell you what, for another 50 bucks, totally worth it. Plus it's bigger because it has the two handles. So it's awesome. And it's even the one, the big version that I have is less expensive than a lot of massage guns and it's better. So hope that helps guys. Squat warm up. Do it. Talk to you soon.